Hello all, welcome to the third section of the course, Walkthroughs and Rendering. In this section, we will be using Blender and Unity to build a simplistic art gallery. Then we will create an animated walkthrough of the gallery scene and finally learn about the techniques that can be used to optimize the performance from complex scenes. Now we move on to the first video of this section, Building in Blender. In this video, we will build walls and then proceed to build a ceiling for our room. Come on, let's begin. Creating realistic models with convincing materials and lighting is an art and a science. Many people just find models online that are built by experts, including the Unity Asset Store. There is, of course, a wide range of design applications available, from the most advanced, such as 3D Studio Max, to the most user friendly, such as Home Styler and SketchUp. For this project, we just need something simple. We need a small art gallery exhibit room about 24 by 36 feet. Keeping it minimal and instructive, I want to show you how to get started with building it in Blender. Let's get started by building walls first. To start, draw a simple floor plan on a piece of paper or use a drawing app. Mine is just an open space with two entrances and interior walls to display artwork. Galleryfloorplan.jpg, which looks like this. Now, open Blender. We'll use a common technique of starting with a simple object, a plane, and then extruding it to make each of the wall segments. To accomplish this, we will start with an empty scene. Press the A key to select all. Then press the X key to delete. Then Add the floor plan image for reference and press the N key to open the properties panel. In the background images pane, select Add Image. Click on Open and select your image, galleryfloorplan.jpg. Depending on the size and the scale of your floor plan reference image, you'll want to choose a scale factor so that it's correct in the Blender World coordinate space. A scale of 6.25 works for me. Actually, the most important thing is the relative scale of the features in the diagram, since we can always adjust the scale in Unity in the import settings or even in the scene view itself. In the background images pane, set size to 6.25. Go to the top view by pressing 7 on the numpad or navigate to view top and the orthographic view by pressing 5 or navigating to view persp ortho. Note that the background image only gets drawn when it's in the top ortho view. Add a plane by pressing shift and A. With these keys being selected, press tab to go into the edit mode. Press Z to toggle from the solid to the wireframe view. Press G to drag it into a corner. And click enter to confirm. Press S to scale it to fit the width of the wall, as shown. Now we'll extrude to make the outer walls. Go into the Edge Select mode. Using the highlighted icon, press A to unselect all. And then right-click on the edge that you want to extrude. Press E to begin extruding. Press X or Y to constrain it to that axis and then press Enter to complete the extrusion where you want it. Repeat the same steps for each outer wall. Create a square at the corners so you can extrude in the perpendicular direction. Leave gaps for the doorways. You may recall that if you need to modify the existing edges, select it with a right click. Shift and right click to select multiple and move with G. You can also duplicate the selected items. To extrude a face from the middle, we need to add an edge loop. With the mouse over the face, press Ctrl and R and left click to create the cut. Slide the mouse to position it and left click again to confirm. Repeat these steps for the width of the wall, making a square cut in the outer wall. Select the edge segment. and press E to extrude it into the room.
Once the floor plan is done, we can extrude it along the z-axis to create the walls. Change the view from Ortho to Persp by pressing 5. Tilt it back using the middle mouse click and move. Select all by pressing A. Extrude with E. Begin to extrude with the mouse. Press Z to constrain. And left click to confirm. Then save the model to a file named gallery.blend. Now add a ceiling with two skylights. The ceiling will be just a flat slab built from a single cube. Let's look at the steps to add a ceiling. Return to object mode using tab. Create a cube using shift and A. Position it at the center using G. Scale it along X and Y so that its size is the same as that of the room, using S and X and S and Y. Switch to the front view using 1. Scale it so that it is flattened using S and Z. And move it to the top of the walls using G and Z as shown. The skylights will be holes cut out of the ceiling using another cube. Again, add a cube using Shift and A. Scale it to the size and move it to the position where you want the skylight. Position the cube's Z-axis so that it cuts through the ceiling slab. Duplicate the cube by pressing Shift and D and move it to the other skylight's position, as shown. Select the ceiling slab with a right click. In the far right, Properties Editor panel, select the wrench icon. Then navigate to Add Modifier, Boolean. And for the Operation option, select Difference. For the Object option, select the first cube, cube.001. Click on Apply to make the operation permanent. Then delete the cube, select it, and press X. Repeat the process, adding another Boolean modifier for the second cube. There we have the hole. This model is simple enough to build using Unity's cubes. So much more can of course be done to make this a more realistic architectural model, but we're going to move ahead using this. Great! In this video, we have built a wall and ceiling. Cool!